All right, so today we need to talk about the former number one undisputed best player in the world at Smash Ultimate and kind of his recent success or I guess lack of success in a way at recent tournaments. Before we really jump into this, I wanted to start off by saying I will be talking about kind of both sides of the argument. I guess it's not really an argument, but it kind of is, right? Some people are saying that he's washed. Other people are saying, oh, like everybody talking can't do this themselves. And I kind of see both sides and I'll kind of explain why. So basically, if you know what competitive Smash is, you know who MKLeo is. He's the best Smash Ultimate player of all time. He basically came out the gate dominating Smash Ultimate tournaments. And this was pretty much the case all the way up until I would say last year is when he started to drop off just a little bit. Even last year, he had pretty much first place at most, most tournaments that he went to, he got first place. Uh, but I guess kind of towards the end of last year and going into this year is when he started to kind of decline with his placements. And really, it hasn't even been that big of a drop off. It's just instead of getting first all the time and sometimes getting second, he would start to only get, you know, top eight or he would be just outside of top eight. I think his worst placing was at Battle of BC where he basically got, you know, right outside of top eight. I don't think he got ninth. I think he got like 17th. I don't remember exactly. But a lot of people are debating if MKLeo is washed at this game, right? Like if you watch a set of MKLeo live on Twitch, all the Twitch chat is saying is Mickey Leo, MKLeo wash, you know, things like that. And of course, people are saying that because his placings just haven't been as good and he's even admitted it. I mean, he's constantly switching up characters, right? For a little bit, he brought out the Meta Knight. Uh, lately, he's been doing Aegis a lot, which a lot of people are not a big fan of. Uh, they're just saying go Joker, go Byleth. Like I said, his placings are still good, but just not, you know, best player in the world good. And that's why he's dropped down significantly in the rankings, you know, as of the most recent Lumi rank. But he's still easily like top 10 player in the world. And of course, the other argument is, you know, his placings are still insane. It's insanely hard to get top eight at some of these stacked events, and he does it almost every single time. And even when he's not in top eight, he still has a really good placing overall in the grand scheme of things. And here's my kind of viewpoint on all of this. I think when you're, whenever you're the best at something, it kind of puts you in this spotlight, like it puts you in this place to where you're gonna get criticized for like anything that's not perfect. This might sound dumb, but the best comparison I can think of for a player like MKLeo and Smash would be a player like LeBron James in the NBA. I mean, LeBron made the finals like 10 straight years, right? And then he went to the Lakers and first couple seasons were a little bit rough. When he missed the playoffs, like he just got trashed on by everybody. And especially whenever he like makes the playoffs and the Lakers don't do good, everybody clowns on the team. They say that, you know, LeBron is washed. They say that he needs to retire and things like that. Now, obviously it's a little bit different, right? With the NBA, you're playing a team sport. So your success is kind of dependent on your team as a whole. Whereas with Smash, it's just an individual player basis. But I almost compare MKLeo's current place in Smash, the, like the same as LeBron going to LA. Obviously LeBron still wants to win, right? There's no doubt about that. But with LeBron going to LA, that opened up so many other opportunities for him. Going to LA allowed him to focus more on business related things, doing commercials, things like that. Like it basically allowed him to focus on making even more money while also competing at a really high level, you know, despite not putting full focus into winning. And I say that because there's things like his son going to college that he's focused on. Like he, like there's other things kind of around that his number one priority is not winning a championship. Obviously it's up there on the list, but it's not like number, number one. And I think that's similar to MKLeo with Ultimate because MKLeo is in a place to where he's focusing on other things. Obviously he's most recently sponsored with Luminosity and he's focusing a lot on content and just growing his brand in general. And to be honest, like this is something that I've personally like, I'm kind of wondering why more Smash players don't do this. We all know Smash isn't really supported by Nintendo. Like there's not a whole lot of money in the competitive scene necessarily. Like, yeah, you can go to your local, make 100, 200 bucks, but like, I'm talking like long-term, like career-wise, it's there's not a lot of money there. I think for a game like Smash, the way to go is like by doing exactly what Hungrybox is doing, right? He's making content. He's kind of just built up this brand for himself that has allowed him to put him in a place to where he's basically set up. Like he has something that can like outlast Smash, especially Ultimate. And something that's just gonna give him long-term stability in general for life. And I think especially with something like Fresh Cut, it's really giving Smash players a, like a better chance to kind of do that and grow their brand. Because before Fresh Cut, like me personally, like I've been on TikTok for a couple years, I upload a lot of Smash stuff on there. And one thing I've really noticed with TikTok is there's really not a lot of like Smash players that upload stuff on there. I'm pretty sure if you're the best at your character or like a top 50 player, or even like top 100 player, and you just like try to put content out there, like you'd be very successful. 
I feel like opportunities like that are just out there and not a lot of players are taking advantage of that. But MKLeo is one of them that's doing that and he's doing it very well. And even last night he kind of tweeted about it. He kind of talked about, you know, the tournament in general and he just said life is catching up to him. Like he's not just nonstop playing the game anymore. And that kind of brings me to my next point. Like MKLeo like is not fully focused on winning at Smash. You know, he has other things he wants to do. Obviously he enjoys competing. He enjoys going to tournaments and he still does well because he's just naturally talented. But if he's not practicing the game the way that he used to practice, practice the game, he's obviously not going to do as well at tournaments, especially when other players are grinding this game non-stop and just on the come up. So in conclusion, I'm going to say that MKLeo is not washed at Smash. The thing about MKLeo is I think if he were to put full focus into Smash like how he used to, he would be number one player in the world. And he hasn't shown us anything to prove that he's not. I mean, he's dominated this game for years. And like I said, only like most recently within the last year, he started to fall off with placings and not even that much. And like I said, primarily, I feel like that's just because he hasn't put as much focus into the game. And there's no problem with that. And the thing that I really respect about Leo is that it seems like he just doesn't let it get to him. Like, Obviously, people are going to say whatever they want to say online. Like, we just know how the Smash community can be sometimes. But I don't think you guys realize Leo's chilling. Like, he is set up good. Like, he has his stuff in order. And he just goes to tournaments to compete for fun. He enjoys it. Obviously, he wants to do well. But winning every tournament is not his priority anymore. And it really shouldn't be, in my opinion. I really think that Leo's in a place to where, like, obviously, he was number one player in the world. And that was undisputed for many years, which allowed him to kind of build up his brand. And now he's in a place to where he can basically reap the benefits of that like there's nothing else for him to prove he was number one for the longest time he's gonna go down as the best smash ultimate player of all time and even if he gets 49th at the next tournament that's not gonna change and i'm pretty sure the narrative is not gonna change moving forward like twitch chat is gonna be twitch chat twitter is gonna be twitter there's, or i should say x is gonna be x now um but either way people are still gonna clown on leo they're gonna call him you know mickey leo and, and all that kind of stuff and it's really not going to make a difference, I don't think. Leo's just going to focus on what's important to him. And if he gets to a point to where, you know, tournaments aren't fun for him anymore, maybe he'll stop competing, you know, altogether. But like I said, there's no doubt in my mind that if MK Leo fully focused on Smash Ultimate, he, like he'd be number one player in the world again. That being said, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know if I sound crazy. I, I personally think, like, like I said, like if he fully focused on the game, he could be number one. But I just think that's not a priority for him anymore. And like I said, I really respect and enjoy the fact that he's kind of branching out and doing more things now. I think that's a really smart decision to go forward. And honestly, I wish him nothing but the best. But in conclusion, I'm going to say MKLeo is not washed. But if you think he is, let me know why in the comments below. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.